What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a mashup of everything I picked up over the last few months. Now guys, I don't plan on picking up a whole lot over the holidays, just because of the fact that again, it's the holidays. Uh, but whatever I do pick up, whether it be for the new consoles or maybe some retro stuff, I'll definitely put a video out probably in December, uh, just kind of recapping the one I picked up over the holidays. All right guys, with that being said, let's get into this video. Here we go. All right, so let's get started. So first off, uh, I was actually able to pick up quite a few things. Uh, one thing is just kind of something I saw I liked at uh, my local store here. Um, I definitely wanted to pick it up because it's just one of my favorite characters of all times. Um, it's actually a Xbox, original Xbox that is, uh, controller from uh, Naki, I guess that's how you pronounce it, N-A-K-I. I guess it would be like a knockoff of Nyko, I guess, or something. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty neat controller. I did clean it up. Uh, I already tested it. It works pretty cool. It's just kind of, like I said, just something that I picked up uh, just because I love the character that's on here. It is a original Xbox, OG Xbox Hulk controller. Now, isn't that neat? So you see in the back there, it's actually purple. Uh, and it might have been licensed by Marvel, but I'm not too sure. Uh, of course, it has your little slots for the uh, Rumble Pack and the... Uh, memory card there but uh yeah yeah it's pretty neat like i said uh, i did test it it works fine and uh, has a pretty good long cable here uh, i don't plan on using this all the time but i think i'm gonna probably display it uh, whenever i get some chance to actually get some displays on here for my controllers uh, but it was a definitely uh, real cheap and a really good find so i definitely wanted to pick it up um, i don't know if anybody else is looking for this uh, you know, but like I said, I wanted to pick it up before it might have been gone the next time. But yeah, definitely a uh, whole controller for the original Xbox. All right, next up, uh, kind of in the contro controller theme, that is, uh, I was able to pick this up at a pawn shop. Uh, it was actually like bulk stock, uh, I'm assuming it was called. Uh, basically what it is, is just stuff that hasn't sold in forever. Uh, and they just kind of mark it down to where I literally only paid like five bucks for this thing. Um, I went ahead and took a chance on it, uh, hoping that it, was, it wasn't was broken. Uh, actually, it's not. Uh, took it apart, I was able to clean it up real nice, and basically uh, now I have me a, uh, Xbox 360 Gears of War controller. Now, I don't remember which one this is, if this is the Gears of War 2 or maybe the first one, but uh, like I said, you can tell it's still in pretty good condition. Uh, like I said, I was able to clean it up pretty good. Now, I might end up changing the uh, analog sticks here because they're a little worn. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there, but I was definitely pretty stoked when I saw this uh, for five bucks. I'm like, you know what? I'll take a chance on it for five bucks. So definitely, uh, pretty good find there. I think it came with the limited edition, limited edition uh, console, uh, the red one. So didn't see the console there, but I saw one of these controllers there, so I decided to pick it up for five bucks. So definitely a good find, uh, Xbox 360 controller. All right, guys. So next up is going to be pretty much retro finds. Uh, the first one is actually uh, one that I picked up. I seen this guy had was selling it pretty cheap, uh, and it's uh, Zelda: uh, Link to the Past. Now this one case has seen better days and as far as the back goes but the sticker and everything in the front's pretty good shape i uh, already tested it it works fine but uh, definitely a good find for uh, zelda a link to the past um the legend of zelda that is a link to the past uh, can't wait to try this one out i don't recall playing this one but i'm definitely excited to get into it when i get a chance here so definitely a good pickup here next up is from a uh, set that i got or a bundle that i got now um i'm not going to go into everything i'm just going to give you the games that i picked up with this bundle uh the first one's going to be for the nes is going to be bandai golf for all you golfers out there <laughs> now uh me personally uh, i'm not really into golf but this is actually a pretty fun game when i was testing it out to make sure it works um the case is in pretty good shape or the cartridge that is sorry uh and then the um sticker is actually pretty good uh in a pretty good shape too as well so that's pretty neat uh, next up is NES Play Action Football. Now the front is a little scratched up and the back is a little scratched up as well. Uh, stickers in pretty good shape, but uh, there you go. NES Play Action Football. Um, now, I did play this one a little bit. Uh, now it's not Madden, <laughs> of course, uh, but it's pretty neat though that uh, that game actually came out. Uh, again, I've never really played any football games on uh, the NES as well, but definitely a pretty neat little find there. 
Uh, next up, and now it does say power pad required, uh, I was able to actually try this game out. Uh, it works fine. Now, um, if only I had the power pad to go with it, <laughs> maybe I'll find it one of these days. But anyways, um, you know the power pad where you you know, run in place and whatnot, and it's pretty neat. But anyways, um, this actually is the best looking game out uh, of this little group here that I purchased. Um, and uh, it's Super Team Games. Uh, I believe it's similar to, like I said, the uh, uh, track and field games and whatnot. Uh, again, like I said, this is actually the best looking one as far as uh, the handful of NES cartridges I picked up. So last but not least, uh, now this is kind of the worst one of all as far as the kind of looking one it is. Uh, the case is a little scratched up, the sticker's uh, a little bad, but is um, a really good game nonetheless. I tried it, I played it, I uh, enjoyed it. I uh, can't wait to uh, pop it in again and start playing it again. It's uh, Galaga Demons of Death. Now, I don't know if this is like the second one or the first one or just, a, I don't know, but either way, uh, Galaga. You know what else? What else? You know, can I say about Galaga? Um, now, this, like I said, the, the sticker is kind of beat up. The back of the case is a little beat up as well, scratched up. That is, um, I don't know if I'll be replacing the stuff. Uh, I kind of like the way it looks, uh, and it does work, like I said. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Um, I don't really want to mess it up at all, so or replace the sticker. But who knows? Maybe I'll do it in the future, and maybe I'll put a video about it. But anyways, uh, Galaga, uh, Demons of Death. Now, next group of games is going to be for the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. Now, it's one of my favorite consoles of all time, uh, other than the PS2. But um, picked up a lot of these games. A lot of these were, I mean, just doggone good deals, honestly. Um, a lot of times, I don't really like spending too much on these games. Um, like I said, max maybe two three bucks a piece uh, I really got a good deal on these um, except for one of them I actually ordered from uh, Game Tower which um, they actually I purchased quite a few things from them uh, it's on Instagram um, definitely go check them out I'll probably put their information down or Instagram tag or handle uh, down in the description below so you can check them out uh, they usually have some pretty good trade-ins sometimes and sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff but anyways, uh, going back to the first set of games here before that one, uh, it's gonna be basically games I picked up for two, three bucks. Uh, I got lucky on this one because I had a bunch of them and you know they were willing to sell them to me for uh, literally two bucks a piece. So I picked them up. So the first one's gonna be Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Again, for the uh, PlayStation, uh, come you know with the book and everything, the disc was in good shape. So definitely excited about that one. I love Mortal Kombat. Uh, next one is going to be uh, one that I looked for at the convention. Couldn't find one that I liked as far as I was like, you know, didn't have too many scratches or anything like that. Um, it comes with the booklet and the game as well is uh, Twisted Metal 2. Now this is probably by far one of my favorite Twisted Metals that ever came out. Um, but uh, definitely a good find there, Twisted Metal 2 for two bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. All right, next group of games doesn't have uh, cases. Um, actually, they were just there and I said, well, how much do you sell those for? And they said, you know what? Uh, uh, 50 cents a piece. I was like, seriously? So uh, yeah, so anyways, I paid a dollar for both of these. It's Final Doom and uh, Jeremy McGrath Supercross 98. Like I said, for a dollar, for two games without no cases, psh, I'm fine with that. Next up, uh, Jet Moto 2. Now this is a black label game here. Uh, again, the same thing, came with the case and everything. I uh, love Jet Moto, that was one of my favorite uh, franchises on the original PlayStation. I uh, just like the idea of, uh, you know, going through in these like jet bikes, you know, kind of looks like, uh, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like jet skis, but they're actually with, you know, um, you know, jet engines or whatever you want to call that, so it's called Jet Moto. Uh, but definitely a cool find there. Uh, again, uh, Jet Moto 2. All right, another uh, franchise I liked on the PlayStation, actually I have it on my uh, PS uh, PlayStation Classic, is uh, Destruction Derby 2. Uh, this is a, a green label, uh, but again, it came with the uh, case and, and the, uh, the manual and everything, so everything's good. The disc was in great shape, so definitely glad I picked it up, uh, Destruction Derby 2. All right, so going to the uh, last PlayStation game I picked up. Again, this is the one I picked up from Game Tower, and it's uh, Auto World Abe's Exodus. Now, uh, I'm actually, now I'm looking for the first one, but um, this is a good one to start on on because I think I played a lot of this one back in the day. Um, do like the fact that um, I believe they, um, the most recent one, I know I found it, but I didn't pick it up and I should have. I can't remember what, what the name was. I wanna say it's like the, the, 
the little one, the baby one, I don't remember what, I, I can't, it's been a while, but uh, I know they had it, I think on 360, and I saw a place that had it, and I didn't pick it up, and maybe I should have, but, um, you know, these games are pretty fun, <laughs> pretty funny too as well, um, but yeah, so Oddworld, Abe's Exodus. Okay, moving on to my next little set of games here. It's gonna be a mixture of different things. Um, the next one, I've been watching this guy's uh, page for a while. Um, he finally had it at a cheaper price than what he had originally had it at, and it's uh, not even that original case, but he still you know, had the little cover and everything like that. I don't remember if this is actually what it came in, or if this is like, you know, like, like a, some sort of like rental store case. But anyways, uh, with that being said, it's a Donkey Kong 64. Uh, now the the actual cartridge is in immaculate condition, you know, that's why I ended up getting it. Uh, no booklet, but you know, it, it's fine. I don't really mind at all. Um, you know, really I'm just trying to look for a whole set of booklets and case and everything like that for my PlayStation games. Uh, but the 64, I don't mind. And like I said, it, I mean, it came in this little case. Obviously it's not official, I don't think. Um, you can let me know in the comment section below if these are official cases for it. But uh, that's pretty neat to find there, Donkey Kong 64. All right, so the next one, uh, never played it, but uh, heard it was really good. And it's a Metal Gear Solid 2, which is one of my favorites, but it's uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. So, you know, I was looking in the back here, it said that there's additional VR missions and whatnot, um, but I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, again, I picked this one up for, I believe, $2 uh, at the pawn shop there. So, definitely a good find, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Uh, next up, um, it's funny that I say two dollars because wherever they got this from originally, the person who purchased it paid two dollars for it. But it's a uh, condemned criminal origins. Uh, it literally looked kind of creepy, so I figured, you know what? Let me check it out uh, again. It had the booklet and the uh, game as well. Um, picked it up in the same spot, uh, real cheap. Um, but again, like I said, this is a pretty neat uh, looking game, kind of horror game. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you ever played this game before uh, and if it's you know pretty fun. All right, the last two uh, games I picked up, um, just kind of like, you know, games. I say, you know what, let me, let me check them out and let me, let me play them because I've never actually played them before. And first one's gonna be uh, Metroid Other M. Now, the reason why I got this one because I've never even heard of this one. Um, now, it does look pretty neat that, um, you know, it has a Samus on there as well. Um, I'm just kind of like wondering when this came out because like I said, I've never heard of this game before. I just thought it was an interesting find. Uh, again, it has two, um, it has the booklet and the uh, game as well. Um, but like I said, I just can't wait to check it out because like I said, I've never really played uh, a Metroid game on the Wii and as far as uh, ever heard of this game before too. So uh, it's pretty neat. So it looks like a fun game. So I can't wait to try it out. All right, last group of games that I have is uh, two recent pickups. Uh, first one's gonna be for the PS Vita and it's Luminous Electronic Symphony. Now I love Luminous. That's one of my favorite games um, on the PSP. So I couldn't pass it up when I saw it. And like I said, the case looks like an immaculate condition. Um, uh, it was funny because uh, when I got it from from the place there, um, they actually told me that um, they very rarely get PS Vita games that look like this as far as in the case and whatnot. Um, so uh, it was a pretty good little little find there. Uh, definitely can't wait to start playing this one, especially on my trips uh, when we go out of town and whatnot. Uh, next one is a game I've been looking for for a while. Now I'm looking for it on the Xbox, but now I got it on the PS2, is uh, The Punisher. Now I love The Punisher, it's one of my other favorite characters from Marvel. Uh, just like The Hulk, uh, The Punisher is one of my favorite. Uh, again, it came with the, uh, the booklet and the disc uh, and the case. And uh, the actual case is, uh, was in great condition, so I can't wait to jump on this and play a couple of uh, uh, levels of this uh, game here. I used to, remember I used to love playing this one. I used to run it on Blockbuster when I was a kid uh, and play it, so I'm definitely uh, excited to get this in my uh, uh, collection there. Uh, the Punisher for the PS2, again, I'm looking forward on the Xbox, so definitely can't wait to find it on Xbox, uh, and then I'll have both of them. All right, guys, so uh, now for the uh, final item that I picked up uh, over the last few months. Uh, again, I picked it up with the um, uh, NES games. Um, obviously, it's, you know, no-brainer on what I picked up. NES games, of course, what do you think I picked up as well? Uh, I picked up a original Nintendo. So, uh, when I found this, uh, tested it out, it did not work. So. Uh, I was able to actually work them down from what they wanted me to pay for it originally what they had a price at that is uh, Down to next to nothing. Uh, I literally only paid 20 bucks for this thing uh, Now 20 bucks with it not working again, just like the controller. Um, it was kind of taking a gamble on it, but um, 
I went ahead and did it, cleaned it up, uh, found out that it was actually an easy fix. It was the uh, cables that it came with. The uh, AV cables were bad. Put new AV cables on, put it on a TV that's a little bit older, um, and it works perfectly, uh, like I said. So original uh, Nintendo. I uh, haven't really cleaned the outside of it, the case. It's a little sticky, a little residue from stickers and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm excited to have this in my collection. So basically, I'm pretty much done uh, that I know of from um, getting the older consoles uh, like I have pretty much everything other than maybe some of the handhelds that I've been kind of looking to get but uh, they're just a little too pricey but as far as the original consoles that I never had is actually uh, I had a, got a SCN, uh, Super Nintendo now I got a Nintendo so uh, came with two controllers uh, the light gun uh, as well but of course a light gun you can't use it on the newer TVs it has to be a CRT TV but I want to say there's a company that made uh, might be uh, I don't think it's retro bit, but they have a light gun that's compatible with the uh, NES that you can use on your uh, regular TV now, you know, L L LCD TV, whatnot, um, that'll work. So I might wanna look into that to try to get one. Uh, one of the controllers is a little yellow, a little weathered, um, so I gotta find out how to fix that. Um, maybe, you know, fix the color or whatnot, maybe buy a new shell for it. if that's possible uh, the other one's actually in pretty good shape so uh, definitely stoked about getting one of these uh, again never had one when I was a kid but there you go original NES so for 20 bucks <laughs> all right well that's it for the day thank you so much for watching liking subscribing to the channel and with that being said guys watch out for the next video and we'll see you next time